when I look at people, I always ask the question, I say, man, tell me what Nike stands for. They said, oh, Ink, that's easy, just do it. I said, tell me what Adidas stands for. Oh, Ink, that's easy, man, impossible is nothing. I said, now tell me what you stand for. When people look at you, do they think excuses? When people look at you, do they think victory? When people look at you, do they think that's a person that's going to give me everything they got, not on some days, but on every day, and it's not going to be predicated upon if I feel like it, because I think we all know if we only worked on the days we felt like it, none of us would get much accomplished. I'm talking about the real level of commitment. Not the commitment that falls in line if everything goes right. I'm speaking of the commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've said it in his life. See, most people, ladies and gentlemen, are stoppable. Most people, all you have to do is tell them no. All you have to do is make it inconvenient for them. All you have to do is make it difficult for them and they're stuck. See, when you go to get your goal, don't think that all you have to do is think positive and everything's going to work out okie dokie for you. When you go to get your goal, you are sending a telegram to Murphy's Law to visit you personally. You thought you were just going to have a dream and a goal, and you were just going to wake up and just walk into the sunset. You're like, dream, boom. It don't work like that. You have a dream, and then life pumps you. Life pumps you and say, do you really want this? You're going to lose friends. Do you really want this? Do you really want this? Cousins going to abandon you. People that you used to be like this with going to think you bougie and don't want to deal with you. It's a part of it, but I paid too much. If I was going to quit, I would have quit in the abandoned building when I wanted to commit suicide and take my life. I should have quit when I heard my voice say, your mama don't want you. Your daddy don't want you. Take your life. I got through that. So why am I going to quit over an F on a grave? Come on. And so I'm telling y'all, you have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for your pain. And so by being committed to everything that I started, I finished it. It built a certain type of spirit. It built a certain type of mentality. It built a certain type of individual. And so now I couldn't quit even if I wanted to. I couldn't stop even if I wanted to. I had too much quit equity in my life and everything that I was doing. You're too close to quit now. You gotta take another lap. You gotta take another lap. Cause you never know, this might be the one. You can't stop because you're tired. You can't stop because you got your feelings hurt. You got to take another lap. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. You're going to make it. You're going to do it. You got an unstoppable fire. Come on, take another lap. Don't you stop. Don't stop walking.